Hey everybody, it's Brooke. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I've come to show you guys some ephemera kits that we're putting in the Etsy shop. Actually, they are already in the Etsy shop by the time this goes up. Um, they're called I'm Not a Hoarder, and it is the first in what I'm guessing is going to be a series because I might be a hoarder. Yeah. But this is so you don't have to be a hoarder. When I buy something that I love, generally it's a magazine or a book or you know a lot of linens, and you don't just get one page or one piece, you get a whole bunch of them. So I thought that rather than having to have the whole family move out to the backyard because there's no room for us, that I would sell some of them to you guys so that you could have a little bit of everything and not have to be a hoarder. Yeah, that's my plan. So if you're a newbie and really are interested in being a junk journaler or scrapbooker or what have you, you can have a little bit of everything to play with and see if you like it. And if you are an experienced journaler, junk journaler, hoarder, well, no, I'm sure you're not a hoarder, collector, um, maybe you just like some fresh stuff to play with. So that is the story on these. So let's just jump right in. Obviously, each kit will be slightly different, but these are representative of what they will contain. Uh, all of them have more than 60 pieces, and um, th they'll be the same kind of pieces in each kit. The first thing is this little glassine envelope that has vintage buttons in it. Uh, there's a funny lady in New Hampshire called the Button Lady, and man, she's serious about her buttons, and she sells the ones that aren't priceless antiques in bulk. So I bought these really cool buttons in a big container. So hopefully you can see those. That's in this kit. Different colors and sizes and textures. Next we have a set of tickets. Not vintage, but I thought they were cool because they had the stars on them and I like the color. There'll be a snippet of some kind of crocheted lace. There will be a vintage playing card. This is an Asian theme, nice and aged on the back. There is a tiny page of Latin to English dictionary, and it coffee dyes beautifully and it's crinkly. That's not vintage. I think it's 1990s. Two craft doilies. Again, not vintage, but fun to play with. This is a parcel post label from 1966. Here is a vintage lady's han uh, handkerchief. It's a hanky. It looks a little yellow on camera, but in reality, it's this beautiful pinky peach color, and it has gorgeous trim on the edge. Scrap of vintage fabric that's just yummy. Again, it won't be the same in every packet, but it'll be something, there will be some sort of vintage hanky and vintage fabric. Here's a um, division flashcard, a paper napkin, Always fun for decoupaging and pulling apart. This one's a pretty good size dinner napkin. There are six Rolodex cards that are vintage. They're nice and aged on the edges, and they're all attached. This is a contract score pad for Bridge. I, again, am not sure of the age, but judging by the color, uh, I'm thinking it's been around for a while. Here is a page from a 1942 construction manual. It's got these great graphics on it. This is a whole set of books that are really neat. There will be a couple of vintage greeting cards. These are from generally the 1940s. All of them are used, but they're just beautiful. Those are fun to use in a book. These are two pages from a 1901 Peter and Wendy book. Each kit will have one book plate that are photos from uh, the movie that they filmed. And it was a Paramount movie, and I think that's just gorgeous. And then there'll be a page from the actual book with the writing, and it's got this aging all around the edges and staining, and those are pretty. These are two pages from a 1943 quiz game called Professor Wiz. The pages are kind of brittle, but they can be glued to something else. They are blank on the back, and they have really funny questions. The next thing is this pretty piece of old sewing paper. 
the tissue that has that nice crinkle to it and you can use it as page edgings you can line things with it it's just really fun to play with this is a page from I think a 1980s shell identification book and I thought the images were gorgeous so that's something kind of different this is a page from a night uh, not not vintage 2017 coloring calendar but I liked how all zen tangly the fish was this is a page from a little book where you can review movies, give it your rating and where you saw it. I can't imagine being that into movies, but they made a whole book of it, so someone is. The next thing is from a 1958 um, little golden book called Baby Animals on the Farm, and this was illustrated by Garth Williams, and look how cute. His illustrations were just beautiful. Next is a glassine bat. Can't have enough. Nice and crinkly. You can fold it up and stitch it into the center of a signature. You can glue it onto a page to hold goodies. There are a lot of things you can do with a bag. This is from a 1925 guaranteed five minute ukulele course. <laughs> I don't know why you would need to learn the ukulele in five minutes, but in case you need to, here are some chords. And I loved all the pictures on here. And these are some of the books that you can play with just those chords of books, songs. There we go. So that was kind of funny. This is a big label um, I bought at a vintage show, and this guy had dug out a huge pile of these from somebody's barn, and it's for Can Canadian Supreme Malt Extract. I can't imagine what that might be, and I don't think I want to know, but I love the colors, and I like that it's shiny, and uh, it kind of sank through the back. It's really nifty. The next thing is an Edith Holden book page. Look at those beautiful watercolors that she did. She was so amazing. So that's pretty fun. A time card, because all the cool kids have them. Not vintage, obviously. These are two pages from a 1937 Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. One is sort of sides and the other one is desserts. And um, in case you need to whip up a quick batch of Trilbies? Never heard of it. There you go. Those are your pages. There's a 12 inch piece of um, older wallpaper border. This is from the early 1990s. And this is the back of it and it's nice and strong. There's a ton that you can do with these. Wallpaper makes great pockets. It's really strong. It takes to sewing very nicely as well. The next thing is a sheet of craft colored deli paper because don't need to say why you get that. This is a page from a perennials book. I actually gutted this book to make my Fobonichi daily junk journal, but the images were so pretty I couldn't get rid of them, so I included that. Look how pretty. I know spring is coming. I know it is. Although we're expecting another 18 delightful inches of snow here in Maine this evening. Piece of notebook paper that I dyed with Easter egg dye. Here's a page from an encyclopedia, uh, not terribly old, it's early 1990s, but it's, again, got that crinkly sound, and this takes coffee or tea dyeing beautifully. Here's a page from a 1926 Greg Writer magazine. This was the original shorthand course, and I, that just amazes me. It's totally a foreign language, and I just think it's beautiful. This is aged nicely. I didn't coffee dye this. It's just from age. Here's a page from a 1934 Mother Goose book. Great image. It's got the Mother Goose rhymes on it. The page itself is sort of uh, newsprint quality and it's nice and brown and it's got another picture on the back side. And again, every page will be different in each kit, but it will be from the same book. It was a big fat guy. Here's a page from a Maine Gazetteer Atlas. Not terribly vintage, it was about 20 years old, but it's a topographical map on this side, and I love all the images and um, the colors on it. And here's the other side. And this is nice and big if you're making a larger journal or just want to have a fold out or something. And it's also a matte um, finish, so it's great for journaling on or painting on or writing. Here's a page from a 1951 sheet music book. This again is pretty good sized. 
the paper is in great quality, um, great shape rather. There is no cracking or anything. It's it's in good good shape, and there'll be a different page in each kit. But I love how music paper looks. The next thing is a page from a 1953 Better Homes and Gardens magazine. This particular page has uh, an ad for a home organ. I, I don't know why Mom looks so concerned about having a home organ. She looks worried. But there's some fun vintage ads on the back side as well. The next thing is a page out of a 1938 store ledger. The handwriting is just amazing and it's all nice and brown around the edges. It is stamped with the date and it's written on the back side too. This is a page from a 1956 high school yearbook. Aren't they awesome? Look how cute they are. I want glasses just like this. My glasses are boring. So that's kind of fun. The next page is a 1930s white sewing course manual. It's got all these beautiful pictures and diagrams on it. It's nice and aged, and I did leave the fuzzy edge when I pulled it out of the book because I like that texture a lot. These are pages from a 1950s scrapbook. You can tell from the ed all the brown edges that it's been hanging around for a while. Uh, it's nice, rough, textured paper. Those are fun. I think I've said those are fun like 50 times, sorry. This is a page out of a 1990 engineering manual. It belonged to the nice old man back in the day when he was an aerospace engineer. But it's got diagrams and photos and crazy words that mean things, like I know what they mean, but not together. I, he impresses me. So that was from him. And finally, each kit will have a vintage and or Victorian uh, portrait in it. I left them in their original cabinet cards or folders or however they were encased. But this one's a big, giant one. And look at this man. Doesn't he look nice? I want to know him. I want to be his friend because he just looks friendly. So that is the whole kit. There's a ton of stuff. It's more than 60 pieces, if I didn't already say that. And I'm going to put in a piece of paper that lists everything with their ages. If you'd like to pause the video and peruse it, that will be there for you. And the link for the Etsy shop will be down below. Also where you can stalk us on social media. And please do give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe if you are so inclined. And thank you so much for spending the time with us. Here's that piece of paper. It's got the listing on it. Go ahead and pause it if you'd like to read through it because there's not going to be room on the listing for all of it. Thanks a lot. Bye.